Hi, my name is Emily and I am an Aspen University nursing student. I am currently enrolled in their three-year pre-licensure BSN program. So a little bit about me. I'm from California. I moved out here last October. My husband currently still lives in California and I plan on moving back there whenever I'm done. Um, my whole family lives out there. So I thankfully get to go home a lot. So a typical week as a nursing student for Aspen University begins on Tuesdays. We do have access to the course material for the week on Monday nights. So I like to begin reading on those Mondays. And then I usually carry that through Tuesday, maybe Wednesday if there's a lot. And then I have assignments that are due on Thursdays, Sundays, and Monday nights. So I like to have all of my assignments done by like Friday night, just because on Saturday and Sunday, I really like to focus on studying the actual material. So instead of just getting the assignment done and not actually retaining any of the information, I like to really focus and take my time on learning that stuff. Another cool thing about Aspen is because it is partially online we don't get to spend as much time on campus like other students might so we do have a seminar class bi-weekly which is where we have our own course material for that and we get to talk about that in class and go over lectures but we also get to discuss different material in our other courses along with asking our professors questions if we have anything about the assignments and stuff even for the other material and the one major thing that I think is super helpful is we get to study and collect questions and talk about them and discuss them as a group, which is very helpful in learning the material. So when we're on campus, we either have lectures, so our teacher will be lecturing us or going over PowerPoints, we can be doing case studies in groups, or we have simulation labs so we can write a discussion post and then we have to respond and read um, other classmates so it helps us engage because we are online. Simulation labs are so much fun. They are very stressful. They are like working with real patients. They, the mannequins that we get to work on, they breathe, they have heartbeats, they have pulses, um, we do have an instructor in another room who pretends to be the patient so they'll talk or cough or increase their heart rate or all of that stuff. So we get to assess them, we get to pass medications, start IVs, fully catheters, um, and practice our SBAR. There's so much that we get to do and we get to watch our classmates do it as well. So we can kind of pick up like, oh, they didn't do this, or oh my gosh, they did that and we forgot. And we all get to go over and debrief together and it really helps you learn, especially when you are about to go into the clinical setting. Clinicals are also my favorite because you actually get to work with real patients and see what it's like to be a nurse. And then you kind of get the idea of how busy they are and what it takes to actually be one. So I personally have spent the last six years in the healthcare field. I am a certified phlebotomist and a lab assistant. I have worked inside of a hospital my entire phlebotomy career, so I have learned a lot and I've seen a lot. As weird as it sounds, I really enjoy and I am very good at drawing blood. So one of the things that really interests me is learning how to not only start IVs, but learn how to do ultrasound guided IVs. To me, that just looks like so much fun. I've seen probably hundreds of ultrasound guided IVs, pick lines, midlines. I've seen central lines placed. It's just all very interesting for me. So one day being able to start an ultrasound guided IV, maybe a pick line or become a midliners, I don't know. That would be very satisfying to me, <laughs> to say the least. And 
as much as I enjoy, I enjoy drawing because I'm good at it, it also makes me feel really good that it makes it easier on the patients because I do have a light hand and I have good technique and I'm usually able to get it on the first try. So it's just kind of makes it easier on them too, which makes me feel really good. I'm not torturing them like some people might. So nurse.org, they reached out to me to help make this video just talking about my school. And I think it is really amazing that they're doing that because not everybody gets the opportunity to see the different schools that are out there. And nursing.org, they have so much on their website. They can tell you how much nurses make in their area. They can give you different information about schools that you're looking into and then you can kind of like gauge which one might be a better fit and it's all within one website so it's not like you're having to google 15 different things it's just all their menu like they have news and honestly like the news is kind of cool because like they have dodgers healthcare appreciation night for nurses like I didn't know that. I'm from California. I'm a future nurse. Why didn't I know that the Dodgers have health appreciation days for nurses? I want to go to one of those games. And they also have um, nursing education and just so much information. And as someone who hasn't picked a specialty yet, well, let me tell you, I am always looking at the different jobs that they have available in my area back at home and how I can plan my career. And I think it's really helpful and nursing students should really, and not even future nursing students, should really look into this. So this is why I really enjoy being an Aspen University student and why I really enjoy using nurse.org.